Gunnick Squadron, this is Sapper Control. I have some trade for you. Bandits have crossed the coast of Dover. Angels 1 3 heading northwest. I'm vectoring you onto them now. Over. Hello and welcome to this Blood Red Skies battle report. It's another Battle of Britain report, but this time we've got bombers. We've got two Hankel bombers here. So the scenario we're playing today is an escort mission. The Luftwaffe start out with two Messerschmitts on the table and two in high cover. This is the escort duty mission from the rulebook in the Battle of Britain starter set, which actually suggests you have your ace on the escort here and not in high cover, but we felt that was a bit ahistorical, so we've swapped that out. And we've also got two less Messerschmitts because it's the first time we played bombers and we didn't want to overcomplicate it. The uh, RAF have been split into three attacking groups of two as per the escort duty mission. We've got three clouds on the table and all the Germans have to do is get one of their bombers across the table to this side while still carrying a bomb load to claim victory. Piloting the RAF today we have got Robin. Tally ho. Tally ho indeed. How are you feeling about this one? I know how hard it was to shoot things down like the couple of games I've played, so shooting down bombers sounds tricky. Yeah. But I guess my radar advantage, I'll start strong. Yeah. And then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so talking of radar advantage, Robin made full use of radar and has got an advantage all the way along the line. Uh, barring this little chap here who's actually disadvantaged, he didn't get the memo. And the Luftwaffe start with their. Per the rules, they start with the escorts disadvantaged, the Hankels are advantaged. I could choose to have it flipped, but I felt this would give the Hankels more of a chance of making it to the other side. So, without further ado, we'll go on to turn one. Okay, so the first move goes to Robin with his advantaged five Spitfire. So what's the plan here? Um, well, going through the cloud cover is actually going to... You come out neutral no matter what, don't you? So I could. You do. And I'll actually. So I'd go. He comes out the cloud and he sees a couple of hindkills and some message bits. No, so a nice actually, sight. I'll actually still be in the cloud. Oh, he's still in. Okay. So, so I assume I keep my advantage till I actually come out. Yeah. Okay. I believe that's how it works. Okay. I don't think it'll make too much difference for this. No. So we'll, uh, and we'll everything else on the table oh is threes at the moment isn't it yeah so my advantage threes yes they're faster than the hindcalls so that would be yours yeah okay so he's gonna have to go through the clear so he's gonna Beautiful. so i think we're just gonna be jostling for a bit of position here if anything interesting happens we'll come back otherwise we'll see you when the action starts okay so all that we did was we had the Hankels move forward as far as they could, bearing in mind they have one move less because they're currently laden with bombs. The MEs have just pulled forward, keeping pace with the Hankels and climbed up an advantage level. And the Spitfires have all closed in and tightened the ring around those Hankels. So, Robin, what are we going to do? So let's go with my... It will come out neutral. My advantage five is just going <clears> to... <throat> I wonder if he's going to be firing off those Brownings. He is. Just to there. Uh oh. So it comes out neutral. Yep. And then I'm going to open fire on that Mr. Smith. Oh, we're going for the ME. Yeah. All right. So. So that is going to be a side shot, isn't it? Deflection shot. Yep. Which gives me a bit of hope. Full of dice. Well, my firepower's white, isn't it? But I have good pilot skill, so. Got me six dice, one inch, trying to get the gear. Nothing. Nada. A reprieve Absolutely for nothing. the Messerschmitt pilot there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, you do have a lot more opportunity to try, I and, do. Uh, <laughs> try and get those. Advantage bridges. threes then. Yeah. So. Ah, you need to put a zoom chip on him actually so we don't forget. Oh yeah, so we don't forget who's gone. He's been. 
given my brain capacity, that's a key part of this game, actually. Right. Let's. Okay. Ooh. Now, does and this count as head on? We need to check that, I think. I would say yes. You think I'm. Ooh, I more of my arc is in your. I said possibly the side. Let's have a look here. I think that's a deflection shot again. Okay, well, what I'm I actually going to do back. is use my action instead of shooting to try and outmaneuver. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, right. So I need three dice for my pilot skill, and I need three dice for my agility, and I need to try and pass the maneuver check in order to avoid being put down to a disadvantage level. Thank you, Robin. So, we're looking for one, two, three, two, three. Huzzah, we get one. So, um, the ME clings on there. Okay. There's a zoom check for that number three pilot. This one, none of that, we're just going straight head on. Straight head on. Okay, and is this, you're going to be uh, opening up here? Yes. Right, so a head-on attack. Oh, this could be interesting. So I think then that's four dice each, isn't it? Because three for pilot level, and one, one for, the... for the firepower. Yep. I still take umbrage at the fact that a twenty mil cannon in the nose of an ME is the same as eight Browning three or threes. But there we but go. But it's slow, isn't it? Well, it is slow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go on. I'll let you roll first. Nothing. Nada. Okay, they might not be equal. Oh, we got a hit. So that's a boom chip for the RAF. And then you have to make sure that it doesn't do anything nasty to you. What am I doing there? Maneuver test. Yeah. Oh, I'm very maneuver one. I'm maneuver three. See, so maneuver three. Dice. And yeah, you get six left for the pump. Yeah. yeah, you're okay there. Right. Not very successful. Take. Um, right, my last Still advantage this, this three. Advantage. Oh, sorry, advantage, yeah. Oh, I think he's gonna so come out of the cloud in neutral. I'm gonna turn and am I in range? Not quite. Oh, we're not quite in range. Because we use the actual, these are just extenders yes. to keep them stable, aren't they? So we still use the actual. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Oh, you're still in my arc there, though. So, yeah, okay. I'll shoot there, and I guess we head on again. Head on. All right. So rinse and repeat. Would you like me to roll first and see if it gives you better luck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh well, none for the Germans. What you want to wear? None for me. Oh. No. Bullets spraying over Kent. Nothing happens. Never mind. Right. In which case, I think so it's onto the. Advantaged Hankles, isn't it? Yes. Right, well, this is going to be scintillating footage as I move them forward, inching forward four inches, and then fire one shot off. Robin, could you please move them forward for me? You might find it easier to just stick it on the side. Yeah. And then it, you just approximate it. But we're all friends here, so if it's slightly out and I lose, that's what I'll blame. Okay, so the Heinkels have a mighty one firepower, although I think they get an additional one if you're behind them. Yes. But you're not behind them, so we're going to try and put one on your uh, squadron leader over there. Yeah. Using that Heinkel next to him. So we're looking for one, six. Nope. This Heinkel, he's just going to fire the closest target. Let me head on so I get to... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh, 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 well, yeah. I think anyone I shoot at there is going to be Yeah, I think it's a lot So, options. with a cry of Achtung Spitfire, the Heinkel is going to go for it. What's he going to get? Nothing. And now the RAF will shoot back. Critical. Two, it's a crit. It's a crit. Uh, uh, right, so I drop an advantage level for the hit. And take a boom chip. Ah, uh, the boom shits are only when you're disadvantaged and it's then on your end. Ah, uh, yes, you drop down first, don't so you? So I drop down first. I don't know what a critical does, actually. It just, makes it, hard, it just makes it harder to dodge, but you can't dodge anyway. I so can't actually. dodge anyway, yeah. 
So I don't think it, it, it doesn't add more multiple doesn't hits. It's just the bombers, yeah. It's just a harder. If we got that wrong, then I don't care. This is how we're doing it today, and uh, that's life. I'm confident. That's right. Robin's confident, absolutely. Your okay. Messerschmitts. So, well, I think you've got a neutral three over there, I haven't do. you? I do. Oh, yes, I do. Right, let me try and get... And actually, it's worth pointing out that I've got those two MEs still in high cover, but they can't come in until I take a boom chip on the Hunkles. So, these two Messerschmitts are going to be outnumbered for a little while. So. Let's go... And then turn, so we're firing your side so rather than the yeah. head on. Well, I still get to shoot back because the you, bomber oh, has the 360. 360. Yeah. So the mighty one will. We'll see what you get first. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, this Hankel's feeling lucky. I just, I don't know, I don't want to panic you or anything, but he feels like he's going to get a six here. No. Man. This is what happens when you send pilots up with four hours flight time and. <laughs> And no sleep. Yeah. But, you know, they do get those nice French cafes to go sit in every now and then. That is true. All right. So now it is the Emmys, isn't it? Because all yep. you've got left is this disadvantaged Spitfire. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So we've got these two Messerschmitts. I think what he needs to do is try and basically buck it out of there. Um, yeah. Could you please take that and then just move him? the full seven into behind that number three there for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is he going to use advantage to spin out? He is going to try and use it. Yes, use advantage to try and get up there. Is he, oh, is he spinning? He's going to climb. No, he's going to climb oh, okay. to advantage. I don't want to spin when you've got that individual in the cloud there. That's a zoom chip for him. And now his uh, his friend over here, all he can do, I guess, is. Do you know what he might do though? He might. He's feeling. He's feeling a bit frisky. So can I please get the, the measuring stick? Thank you. He can. If I don't destroy everything. Ah uh, no, he's not going to get on your tail. Yeah, there, wasn't he? It's going to come to the side. So. Bearing that in mind. Could you just move him to here for me, please? And then I will climb for an advantage. And that's a zoom chip for him. Thank you very much. And it should just leave my disadvantage yeah. guy coming out the clouds now, yeah. which is, I guess, advantageous because I come out of the clouds neutral. <clears throat> yeah. And then I will be firing. You should at the Heinkel? At the Heinkel. Right. So Nothing. Nothing for Robin. One dies for the Heinkel. Oh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Um, that is. Actually, I should do the, the Fist of Triumph. Um, I'm trying to dodge one. Oh, four dots. Yes. No. Oh dear. And that is a boom chip that time, isn't it? That is one, yeah. It's MG 34s under? Yeah, I think so. Under Hankos? Paying off dividends there. Okay, well that's the end of the first turn. So we're going to collect up all the chits and we'll come back in a minute with turn two. So here we are in turn three of this escort duty mission. As you can see, the Heinkels are slowly making their way across the table. They have not yet taken a boom chip, but one has lost an advantage level. So, the first plane to go is going to be one of the advantaged Spitfires. Right. What are we thinking here? Am I in range just to do the free? I am. So we get a free... Free snapshot at the Heinkel. Head-on shot. Okay. Let's see what you get. Nothing. Oh, what are these burnings loaded with? Can he repeat his famous feat of five minutes ago? Oh, this is obnoxious. Oh, I almost feel bad. And then we're dodging. We are dodging, but that's still a boom chip. There's another boom chip. God, this gunner is deadly. I think you've driven off before I've even. 
They're going to end up bombing Gravesend. Not that you, can, you wouldn't be able to tell, but... Um, Just add some value. Apologies to anyone that lives in Gravesend. Oh, I'd lose my advantage as well, don't I? That's annoying. Do you? Why? I didn't... Did I dodge it? You did, you dodged it. Oh, I did dodge it. Oh, yeah, you fine. dodged it. Oh. Right. Seven gets me to there. And then I think I'm going to have to use... Yeah, I'm going to have to use advantage. Oh, then I managed to get more of a turn. Yep, you're going to fire again? To be able to, yeah. Okay. So this is my side, so it's still only the one dice for me. Oh, that's a good roll. Okay, so... Uh, that is a hit. That is a hit. Let's see if I can get a hit back. No. No. And you... So I drop a disadvantage level because you can't dodge in a bomber. You don't get anything, you don't get to roll anything, no? I don't think so. We can okay. go check. Yeah, because it's just manoeuvrable. We will check that and be back in a moment. So forgive me people, we've checked this and actually there is something the Heinkel can do. So you ordinarily dodge with your agility, which the Heinkel has none of, as you can see. But given that this is a deflection shot, I can use my speed, which is currently actually only four due to having a bomb load, but at least it gives me something. They can't add their pilot skill, but I will be given four dice to try to dodge that hit. You will so, lose a dice because it's critical? That is correct. I will lose a dice for it being critical, so it's getting worse and worse as we speak. So we'll just get three dice. All I need is one six. Are we feeling lucky? No, he drops an advantage of us. So he is now disadvantaged, and if he takes any more hits, that will be a boom chip. I'm struggling with these new bases. Okay, so... Uh, so not great for the Heinkel there, but still no boom chits. But if he does take a boom chit, the, the payoff is that actually I get to bring in my top gunner, which could be pretty deadly for some of these Spitfires, actually. My advantage, my other advantage, three. Yes. Now, do I. Oh, this is going to get tight. <laughs> These skies are getting crowded. There's only so much room over grid. Also in. burning advantage to 1090. I'm going to okay. line, be lining up. Gosh, look at this. All around me. And it's going to be more of the same. Just exactly the same again. Rinse and repeat from the RF here. Let's see what they get. Oh, oh and another critical. Same. Good grief. No and a one it. back. Good grief. Okay, so we, again, I get three dice. I'm not liking these odds. Oh, well, there we go. Dodged everything. Don't we'll take that. Being disadvantaged, the plane itself takes a boom chip, and you get one per engine until they go down. However, we felt like we'd put a little twist on this. So we've got a nice little smoke marker on the engine there. Demonstrating that that Heinkel has taken a clobbering. So, he did shoot back and he didn't hit anything, did he? Nope. So that's one boom chip on the Heinkel. So who goes next? What do we uh, have on the table? For your advantage three, so be your mission first three, and the then your... Right, well, let's give Johnny Spitfire a bit of a, bit of a rude awakening. So, I'm going to just... I want to burn advantage with him to do a 180. I obviously have to move forward a little bit first because of the minimum move. But um, I'll... No, it's at any point. If you're burning the advantage... It point. is at any point, but I still have to move half my distance. So that would mean I'd overshoot the Spitfire if I did it straight away. I so if I move him forward a little bit, burn advantage, flip round, and then finish my move, I can actually end up where I am. Back where I am. Yep, so you just want to... So just basically... Spin you on the spot. Spin me on the spot. Oh. So yours now goes down to disadvantage. Because There's you're... no one giving the wingman effect. To be focused on the bombers. And there's also a key component I missed. I've taken a boom chip on the Heinkel, which means the top cover comes in, doesn't it? Yes. So we'll resolve this, and then we'll go away and we'll, uh, we'll set that up and we'll come back. So we'll see what happens here first. I get my pilot skill of three and my firepower of one for four dice. Right. Come on then. Let's get some dead eye shooting here. 
nothing. Oh well. So that's a zoom shift for him. And then we're gonna go away, set up the top cover, and we'll be back in a moment. So here we are, we have the menacing top cover diving down. So the uh, we can't work out from the scenario what advantage level this should be in. I think it says because I could choose whether the bombers were advantaged or the escorts, and I chose the bombers, I think they could be disadvantaged, but we both agree that's really stupid for top cover. So we're bringing them in advantaged. Um, so they've dropped down, swooping down on these Spitfires that they can see over here. So the first thing is it's going to be the advantage five who should have gone before that three but we're all friends here nothing happened with that three anyway um oh just moving the clouds yeah so I mean he can get he can go to here without having to burn any advantage now he's gonna have a crack at this spitfire here so it is going to be a deflection shot but we just need those boom chips that's all we really need Let's get rid of the escorts Bombers can make it to uh, to Grid then. Oh, I haven't got enough dice. You're right. It's my, it's my number five. So that's much more pleasing. I like these odds better. We're just looking for those sixes. And we get one. All right. Luckily, I get my speed. Otherwise, I'm... Yeah, you're in the drink in, if you fail Well, this. I'm not even in the drink, am I? Well, of course. It's over This is a problem. This is a bigger problem. It's a hard landing. <laughs> a hard landing with a sudden stop. I do get ten dice, though. Oh, look, okay. the plum, is that is... plum? But it is another boom chip. So the RAF have accumulated four of those now. Which hmm. ain't good for them, really. Uh, another three, and they'll be forced to land, I think. There's a zoom chip on him. So now we have two more Messerschmitts. Two more Messerschmitts with advantage. And we've got an advantage time call after that. Gosh, it's all go for the Luftwaffe. Basically, this one's just going to do the same as his. Well, it was all going for the Luftwaffe until about nine, until about <laughs> three months later. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Hans, we didn't win the battle. Yeah, yeah we just got, I mean. And are you deflectionising? It's just deflectionising, that's the technical time people, into that spit, the same Spitfire. This time it is four dice. only the four dice, which is less pleasing, but we'll go with it, because they are the rules. Nothing. And he gets nothing. Good. Well, let's zoom chip for him. Thank you, Robin. So now we have the, uh, yep, yeah, that one and nine over there. He is, he's thinking he's going to try and do the same as this one did here and try and get on his tail. Uh, so, but I do want to move over here a bit. So I think I've got what, seven to put. So if I move him here. So that's two and a bit. Two and a bit. And yeah. then. Burn his advantage in time. Yo yo, kind of. And then come back here. Without knocking him out. Would we agree that's about four? Maybe a bit closer? Probably about there? Yeah. Alright, so let's try and down the Spitfire. Four dice to try and get a hit. Come on, sweet sixes. Oh, disappointing. Never mind, we've got a Hankel. The mighty Hankel. Let's see if this one can hit anything. Uh, you get a snapshot first. That's true. Snapshot first. Although it counts as... Does it count as head-on? It always counts as head-on when you attack a bomber. I don't know about... Yeah, no, because now you're in... You, well, it's exactly... Well, I right. can shoot the other one, though, can't I? Oh, yeah, because you've got 360. I've got 360, but I don't know if that counts as a head-on. I think it, if you're attacking me, it always counts as a head-on. I don't yeah. know if it does the other way. Probably no. not. No, I would have so. Okay, we're just going to not do it, because, frankly, the chances of these handcuffs doing anything are minimal. Having said that, the other one has put two boom chips on you, I think. And you just move, you just have moved straight ahead. Yeah, you? just he's got no choice. He has to move straight forward. Mm -hmm. Basically, that Spitfire is right in the way. Yeah. So why don't we just move that Spitfire down here a wee bit? Uh, if I take him and keep him in level, yeah. You move that forward to where he would go. We can then just. You're not going to dive and get an extra. Just bit. No, I'm not. I want to keep that advantage level. I've now got my top cover in. Okay. And then you can shoot again, can't he? Yes. And I can shoot your squadron leader this time. <gasps> oh, the opposite of what we're looking for. All right, so do you have any neutral aircraft now? I think you do. Uh, 
Mm. You've got that one yes. over there. Well, I've got five first. I've got five first. Oh, is he new? He's not gone. I thought. No. Oh, that zoom chip's mine, isn't it? Yeah, zoom chip is yours. Yes. Right, so the neutral five. So what is he thinking? He's got a smoking Heinkel. He does. Right, filling his gun sight. Actually, yeah. He's not, is he in range? No, no, no. Really. Is he definitely not? No. Not oh, for, he's just out of his range. So. God, this poor Heinkel. I'll go to the seven. Puts me just clearly. And actually, is the 45 enough? Or do I need to? Ooh. Hey, that puts you in my front arc. Yeah. So. Okay, so this would be a. Diff, not, no, it's a, a tailing shot, but tailing obviously it doesn't. Shot, but yeah, it's doesn't, not it doesn't change much. your um, yeah. advantage. So or basically, anything. I can't dodge this one. There's nothing I can no. do for this one. Apart from shoot back. So I can shoot back, but let's see if you die. Now. Oh, oh, people, the Heinkel is gone. So with that. Heinkel comes off the table, and, and I take two boom chits. Yeah, because you take the ones that were... So you can pass me those boom chits on that. Thank you. Dear me, that's bad news. Right, so there's now a big Heinkel shaped gap there, but he does get to shoot back because it's simultaneous. So we'll see if we can put a boom chip back on the RAF, which we can't. We roll another one. Well, that's terrible. What a sad day for the Luftwaffe. Still, that's what you get if you fly over Gravesend. Um, my neutral three. Yes. I mean, he's now, well, he's just seen his boss claim the kill. I think. That leaves a big hankel shaped gap in the sky and he can move his that's attention four. elsewhere, can't he? Four, that's one and a half. I'm gonna burn advantage. Yeah. So you can't, I mean, you can always shoot bombers, can't you? Oh, let's check. You can always shoot bombers. It doesn't matter about your advantage level, I believe. Oh, this would be my, this would be a shooting action anyway. It's the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also, for your shooting action, oh, you for... can only shoot planes that are an advantage level below you, except for bombers, in which case you can always shoot them. Yes. I will shoot it. Bombers are vulnerable. So. Oh, Got look at that. Um, right, so he can't dodge that. So that, if you want to get the smoke marker, I'll put him onto neutral. You do get to shoot back, though. And I do get to shoot back. With two dice, actually, because you're up much off. Yes, yeah, so you get the extra. I think we might have missed that on the other one, but I don't think it would have made too much difference. Oh, you oh, get to hit back. That's another boom chip for the RAF, putting him on five. Uh, this is the Luftwaffe's best hope now is to try and get the boom chits on you. Three to six dice. Oh, actually, if I don't dodge. Yeah, if you don't dodge, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. that's, that's, that's boring, isn't it? So, five boom chits. So, you require what? Two more? Two more. Or if I shoot, or if you shoot down a plane. Yeah. Whereas I'm on two with five aircraft remaining. But only one bomber. But only one bomber. So, if I lose that bomber. Well, then your bombing range oh, is probably over. Sorry, no, he doesn't have the smoke marker yet because he's not disadvantaged. Oh, no, he? of course not. Although it does look good. It does. But never mind. One day, people, we will get the rules right. Okay, so who is left now? Is it just... It must be only my disadvantage. You're just, oh, that Heinkel's gone. Yeah. You've got disadvantaged Spitfires here, haven't you? And they're the only ones They're left. the only things left, so... I'm going to. Oh, it's a mess here. Oh, they're in formation, but they're in the way. <laughs> um, oh, God. Uh, Head on! Right, and then I'm going to use my action to climb again. Okay, yeah. And the same. Oh, that's not ideal, is it? For them. Okay. Is that the end of the turn? That's the end of the turn. We'll collect up these chits and we'll come back in a moment. So here we are at turn four. In case you're wondering how the Luftwaffe think it's going, not well. They've lost one bomber and they made it that far and I've got that far to go. So uh, really their only hope now is to try and accumulate enough boom chits on the RAF squadron, which 
They're not too far away from doing. So we'll see if they can do that. And the first move goes to this Staffel Kapitan here. So we'll see if he can do that. What he's thinking is, there's no point going in about that lot. <laughs> Uh, so really, his best chance is to try and just buck it over there and have a shot at him. In which case, I'll see how far I can get with seven. I mean, not going to be enough. I don't think he can... Well, I don't know if he's actually going to be in range here, but we'll, we'll just go with it. We'll see where we get to. I don't think there's much point in... Actually, would he have had a snapshot there? Mm. Maybe on that one, if any. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we do that first, then. So that would be a head on, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we do that first, and then we'll come back for that move. So we do the shots. So it would be what? Five for pilot skill. One for, and one for the. Power, wouldn't it? Oh, we get one. And I still get a shot back. So and you get a shot back. So I hit as well. So you hit as well. There's a boom chip each. Ooh. So and you're on our level. We are. And I'm actually over half of my escorts, but I've got a handful as well. Okay. Um, so now we're trying to dodge dodging. those, don't we? Maybe on four dice. Four. Oh, I didn't dodge. Oh, you didn't dodge. Oh. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, so uh, what's mine? So I get five and an agility of three. Three. So eight dice. So eight dice. So we've got five there. We've got three for you. Thank you. This would be embarrassing. It's, yeah, it's yeah. very embarrassing. Okay, so he drops an advantage level as well. That's a boom chip for you, wasn't it? That is a boom chip for me, yeah. But then he makes it over there, and then he's going to turn this 45. Could you please remove that? Schmugger. Thank you. And I think he's out of range of anyone, isn't he? Um, no. Shark's there, isn't it? So, yeah. a deflection shot on him. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that is actually tempting. I was thinking I might just climb an advantage level, but this, this could end the game. This is big. So he's going to go for that. Him, into him, he gets six. six dice. We're looking for one ace here to end the game in favour of the Lost Buffer. Can he do it? No. no. Typical. What a farcical spectacle. Okay, so he didn't climb for advantage. He took a shot. He was greedy and he failed. So it's got to be up to his wingman now to try and save the day. So for his snapshot, I'm hoping I've got him. He's got him as well. I've got, I don't think I'm in range of that one. It would no. have to be that one. And that it's is a deflection. deflection. Actually, he's not in my front arc. Oh no, his base isn't it, is it? So no. it's his base. So he doesn't get a snapshot. Nope. So I guess in which case, his best bet, if I bring this over here, is... Okay, so he's going to get to... Thank you. There. Oh, gosh. And then, is he going to have to burn an advantage level? I think he will have to burn an advantage level. Oh no, level. 45 would be... 45. We'll get you to there, which puts you in head on. Yep. Yep, that's right. So that is a head-on attack. A risky gambit, but if it pays off, again, it's the end of the game. So he only gets four dice, and the Spitfire can shoot back simultaneously. Oh, that's Ooh. critical. Oh, he's done it. So, Robin, that, unfortunately, is the end of the game, but we want to see if... If I have to bail out or not. If he has to bail out or not. So it was a critical hit. So I would get four dice normally, but I lose one of my manoeuvrability dice. Yep. Oh, and he is actually... He's down. He is down. He's gone for a button. He's no, bought it. I did hit you as well. You did. Okay, so I get, what, four dice? Yeah. Oh, and he dodges that. Yeah. So actually... Oh... Yeah, because I actually end up with five planes and seven. Yeah, seven boom shits. I think, so it's a victory for the Luftwaffe, but honestly, I don't think they were too far off. I think you were whittling down the hindquarters quite nicely, and if you'd have gotten that one down with another two boom shits, that would have been it for me. Yeah. So, um, well, 
you really don't need a lot of table space. No, not for this game. For, the, for this <laughs> game, especially when it's you're focused around one thing. It's what the cloths four by four, okay, with maybe six inches of width we've lost or whatever. But actually, you could play this on a coffee table. Yeah. It, you just have to accept you wouldn't have as much. You'd start at the turn two, basically, wouldn't you? Yes. You'd, you'd skip the, the first. Uh, yes. But no, as you can see, we've barely made it a third of the way at the board. Those hankles just slowly inching their way forward. Easy prey for those Spitfires. And it was only the top cover that managed to basically salvage it for the left five. And I mean, if you think about the kind of wider perspective here, that's just one squadron of Spitfires. They would have been doing this all the way into the target and all the way back. So really, I don't fancy the Hankel's chances, do you? No. It's also very quick, which yeah. actually... Yeah. Dogfighting is very quick. You've only got, what, 15 seconds or whatever it is of... Of yeah. ammunition, you're only actually closing speeds of what 600 miles, miles an hour. An hour. Yeah, it feels like oh, we got that throughout really quick, but actually, that's probably a reasonable way of making it feel like you've it's hectic. Yes, it, it does feel really hectic and it feels crowded. And you're like, oh, I don't know where I can put my pl but that's maybe trying to go for a little bit of the psychological feel, yeah, like it being hectic and not like quite know what's going on, and it's all over very quickly, and everyone's disappeared. <laughs> Well, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, whether they intended the psychological aspect or not, I enjoyed that part of it. So I think the bombers definitely add a different... Yeah, it feels more like you've got a reason to be there rather than just... And it's also, dog fight. It just changes the dynamic really well, doesn't it? Because I've got to go and do something... Yes. ...whilst trying not to get shot down by... I feel like there's a lot more tactics you could use. So I could have kept two planes back to fend off the top cover or yeah. stop my other guys getting tailed by your Messerschmitts. So uh, you up for another game then? Yeah, at some point? No, I'll have to play it again with with uh, two or three bombers again. And yeah. Excellent. There'd definitely be different ways of doing it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. I mean, it, that's the good thing about this is that your imagination is the limit, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, well, with that, we will say that that is the end of the engagement of what do you say? Was Gravesend? Yeah. yeah. The end of the Battle of Gravesend. This isn't the end of the conflict. We'll be back for more battle reports in the future. Until then, I'll catch you next time. Bye, folks. Bye.